let's continue with this one now we'll talk about uh, the the cash flow statement and the importance of the cash flow statements will become evident as we go along and start looking at live examples but primarily this tells you the cash position of the company remember we had spoken in the PNL statement discussion that there is a possibility that you have sold goods but you have not received money right but not received the money your cash flow statement should be able to account for this your cash flow statement should throw lights on this right even otherwise your PNL is susceptible to your accounting definition of things right and that might that might tell you that things look great but cash flow is actually a fact you know what money has gone out what money has come in is clearly reported there so you can't really have any sort of fudging of this so they are you know they're less uh, they're not always completely but less prone to any fraud or let's say incorrect accounting practices uh, cash flow statements can't really be fudged that easily right so just like our earlier discussion there is a balance sheet at a particular point of time there is a balance sheet next year PNL account records the business transactions but all the cash inflow and outflow that has happened from the company is recorded in the cash flow statement right and that becomes important now cash flow statements cash inflow and outflow could happen on account of three broad activities you could have cash flow because of the nature of your operations you sold something you collected something you made payments in the in the process etc uh, you could have cash flow on account of creating new capacity or investments right so you have some money like idle and you go and buy a new factory or you sell an existing factory that's all all discussions on account of investments and you could also have cash flow on account of either raising money or repaying that money so you could have financing cash flows right so all the transactions that a company does can basically be divided into these three categories operations investments and financing activities right let's look at these in detail cash flow from operating activities is any cash flow due to the operations of the firm so you sell something you spend money in order to procure those sales raw materials etc everything is a is a part of the cash flow from operating activities right usually if you want to try and find out where do you relate this activity from if you look at the profit and loss statement most of the line items that come above the operating profit above EBITDA right earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization most of the line items above this correspond to cash from operating activities so your sales your costs your receivables your payables your inventory everything with respect to your uh, your data points come here in addition to sales and cost which are there receivables payables inventory can also be looked at the current portion current assets or current liabilities right the current portion of your balance sheet plus the PNL so PNL plus current portion of your balance sheet is where you will find most of these data points around cash from operating activities right and let's look at cash flow from investing activities these are any cash flows due to investment activities such as buying or selling assets usually you can relate this to all the non current assets asset side of the balance sheet right that's where all your investments all your fixed assets movement in fixed assets etc would come in usually you can relate it to all the asset side of the balance sheet and within that the non current assets portion of it current assets are included in cash from operating activities right and when you look at cash from financing activities this is any cash flows due to financing activities such as raising or deploying money either through equity or through debt even things like dividend payouts would come in here now usually you can relate this to the liabilities side of the balance sheet again non current portion 
of the liabilities right so essentially if you look at these three cash from operating activities is typically from the PL and current part of the balance sheet current assets and current liabilities cash from investing activities is the asset side of the balance sheet and that to non current and cash from financing activities is typically the liabilities side and that to non current liabilities so the liability is the non current portion of the liabilities come in here right let's take